Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today, I'm going to be exploring along this area called the, uh, well, it used to be what was called the pole farm. Now the pole farm um, was the first spot where com telephone communication was made from the United States to England. Um, and they had these giant, like, uh, poles and stuff uh, to transfer the signal all the way to England. And here there's a diagram of all the other uh, places it was sent to. Um, Bogota, um, Lisbon, Frankfurt, Rome, Paris, um, London, um, Brussels, places like that like the major cities and uh, this is just a public place you can come and explore and learn about the history of this thing um, now the pole farm was actually is actually um, pretty much the only major event of all of the United States history to happen here in my hometown um, so today, as I said a bit before, I'm going to be um, exploring. Uh, this used to be farmland in the 1700s, so um, hopefully I'll be able to find one of the old farmhouses or what's left of them, and maybe I'll be able to um, find some old bottles and relics and stuff. Alright, I'll be back if I find I may not be able to get much. Um, because, as you can see there, there is a massive storm front heading straight towards us. We can have tons of thunder and lightning, and I do not want to be caught out in this vast open field, um, during a thunderstorm. Uh, so let's just hope I'll be able to stay safe and find something while I'm at it. This environment is so amazing. Um, so I don't think there's many predators here just because there were probably two dozen of frogs here that jumped in when I came here. And as you can see that there, it's a box turtle. <laughs> it's not even running away from me. How incredible is that? Now, around here, I see a couple things that, like, over there, that might be an insulator. Uh, so there might be some old stuff here. Alright, I'll turn you back to on if I find anything. There's a couple of huge Pyrex insulators here. Well, that one's broken. Um, now let's see if this one is complete or not. I mean, obviously it's broken, but hopefully it's more complete than the other one. Uh, no, it's, that one's also broken. But those are just kind of sitting here, so... Um, that means nobody else has been through here, probably. Alright, I'll be back if I find anything else. Oh, the mosquitoes here are horrible, but... There's pieces of... Insulator all over the place. There's one piece there. Wow. And there's another large piece here. I want to see if I can pull this out from under all these roots. Oh, this is actually a metal chain, I believe. Yeah, it's a metal chain. Uh, there were a bunch of fragments of broken glass back behind me, so I'm pretty sure this may actually be a dump of some sort. <clears throat> I'll turn you back on when I get this thing I got out. it out, and it's just another one of those big Pyrex insulators. Alright, I'm going to look around a bit more and see if I can find anything. I finally else. found a dump. Um, I mean, it looks modern, but you never know, there might be a couple gems in here. Wait, what is that? Oh, man. Oh. That would have been cool. Um, but yeah, most of the stuff looks modern. Uh, there are 
couple older looking pieces here and there. Uh, so I'll poke around and I'll see what I can find. I'll be back if I find anything worth keeping. I just stumbled on a dump with a great potential. There's loads of pieces of stoneware and a lot of really nice, oop, a lot of really nice looking shards. Um, so hopefully, I'll be able to find something really good here. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh, it's embossed. What is that? Let me just rub it off. It says, for consumer, no. It just says for consumption, and on the side it says, Hazel Time Company, and there's something on the other side as well. It says Pissons Cure. That's a really nice med bottle. I don't know if it's local or not, but I never find any med bottles ever. Um, at least not complete, so already this is one of the better dumps I've found, and the best dump I've found today. Uh, so hopefully, I'll be able to find something really, really awesome here. Um, I'll be back with the next find. I'm gonna have to leave this dump behind, and I need to really haul it right now. You can't hear it, but there is a giant thunderstorm. It might even be the biggest one of the summer coming right here, and I hear the thunder. The wind is picking up, and as you saw before, there's tons of fields, and I don't want to be caught in the open fields, or in the woods for that matter, during a giant thunderstorm. Um, plus all the rain, so that's that would make it more difficult. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna seek shelter. Um, if it passes quickly, I'll come back to the spot and dig some more. If not, this is going to be the end of the video. Alright, I'll see you later. Scene. I got back here a little while ago. The storm's over. Um, I really started digging into here. And this dump is really, really strange. Um, I mean, there's complete stuff here, just not the right stuff. And some of the stuff here is really old. Um, this bottle has a broken pottle. And I'm sure this was an eagle flask. Um, and pontled stuff which, by the way, I'm really, really excited about this. If I found a complete pontled bottle, I mean, I doubt it's in here, but you never know, it may be. Um, pontled, I mean, there's pontled stuff in with machine-made stuff. So I have to think this was brought from somewhere else and put here because there was no way pontled stuff would be in with machine-made stuff in such a small, confined area. And this is three inches deep. Part of a Ponto bottle, just three inches deep. Um, that's unnatural, even for this area where everything seems to be shallow. And I found this bottle with the date 1859 on it, and I am fairly certain this perfectly well could be from 1859. Um, I'm gonna have to put these fragments somewhere safe so I can deal with them a bit later. Um, so if, if you have any explanation for why there could be such, such a fluctuation in age in one dump, please tell me in the comments. Um, that's gonna be it for now. I'll be back when I find anything else. Digging in here is kind of random. Um, I mean, there's no telling what you can find. Uh, you can find anything from modern stuff to really, really old stuff. And 
I got lucky. I got very, very lucky. Um, so I thought this was gonna be, you know, your average med bottle. You know, early 1900s, 1890s. It's not. Let me just uh, get this. Look at how crooked and wavy that glass is. Um, it says um, New Brunswick, New Jersey, Howard's Improved Liniment. And that may be a Pontal. I doubt it. I highly, highly doubt it. But it may be. It, it, I mean, it's broken, but I am still going to keep it just in case. I want to research this thing. I mean, it'll display nicely, even though it's broken and cracked, so I'm going to have to be careful with it, but, I mean, man, that, that was old. That is old stuff, so hopefully I'll be able to find something else cool. I'll be back with the next find. I just found another med. Um, this one is fairly generic. Um, uh, it is machine made. On the side, sorry, mosquito. On the side, it says A and A and P extract. So I don't have this bottle, so I think I'm gonna keep it. All right, I'll be back with the next find. All right, I'm back home. I have everything cleaned up. Um, so this dump was really weird in the wide range of age. I mean, you have Vicks Vapor up there, which is, you know, probably uh, pre-1950s, but nothing older than 1930. And then on this side, you have a pontilled and Yes, I did my research, and that is a Pontil, a Pontil medicine bottle. Um, so, I came to the conclusion that what this dump was, um, since I was exploring where the uh, AT&T transcontinental telephone thing was, um... I came to the conclusion that when they cleared the area to build the AT&T phone station, they took everything that was there before and dumped it in the one spot I, I was digging at, which explains the wide range of age, because as I said, uh, there was, it, it was farmland beforehand, um, and I bet there were uh, dumps that from the old farms, which explains the old stuff. Um, I'm gonna start with all the small things. I got, uh, this weird glass thing that actually kind of magnifies. Um, it's a really weird shape. I got a glass lens. A little, uh, fake bead gem. I actually found two pieces of gold-plated metal. Um, I don't find gold-plated stuff very often, so that was pretty exciting. I found a little riveted doodad thing. Um, and then just a couple other pieces of metal. I found this spoon, which I thought was really weird. I don't even think this is bent. I think this actually might have been that way normally. And then I found this giant chunk of lead that I kept. And I don't know why I kept it. Uh, I just kept it. Um, in the back, as you can see there, I got a nice amber Vaseline jar. Um... I only have one of these, so that's pretty nice. Uh, there aren't that many bubbles in this one, though. It's kind of unfortunate. I got the Vicks Vapor Rub. Sorry for the lack of focus. I got four little um, medicine bottles, or pill bottles. Um, 
I found one of these very, one of these older glass mason jar lids. Um, I find tons of these, but I never find the complete mason jars. Got a little pot that says, um, Mum Manufacturing Company, Philadelphia. I got two nice, um, jar, uh, jar lid liners. Uh, why I kept, keep these is because these, uh, I, I keep the ones where you can kind of see through them. For some reason, I just kind of like them. I think they're kind of cool. Um, I got two pieces of insulator. I thought they were the same insulator. They're both, um, A-M-T-E-L and T-E-L company insulators. This one is actually a green color, which I've never seen in, uh, this sort of insulator. Um, and this is also a sort of green color. I thought these went together. It was really close, but apparently not, which is kind of unfortunate. So I may end up throwing those away. Um, I got a shoe polish bottle, three ounces. I got a little, um, blown in a mold medicine bottle. It says for consumption, uh, Haslin Company. Um, Pissons Cure. So, that was the first med bottle you guys saw. Then I found, um, a Frostilla bottle. This also might be, fr uh, blown in a mold. Uh, this one might turn purple. And then, I got the machine-made, um, and extract bottle. Uh, I don't know what a and extract was, but I mean, I don't usually find medicine bottles, and that's why I kept it. This one's also probably going to turn uh, purple. And then the star of the show was, of course, the Howe's Improved Liniment from New Brunswick, New Jersey. And it has the Ponto. Um, I've never found a Ponto bottle. I don't even think I have a Ponto bottle in my collection. Um, it's a shame it's broken. There's a piece of the glass still in there. Uh, so I could partially fix it. Um, but still, it's mostly complete, so of course I kept it. And then I kept just these two fragments. Uh, this one has the date 1859 on the front. Now, I don't know whether that's just like a brand thing or if it's the actual date. Um, but it could be the actual date. And then I found part of an awesome flask with a pontil. It has a couple letters on the side, but not enough, whereas I can read it. That would have been a really, really nice flask. It's a shame it's broken. I really, really think somewhere out there, somewhere in the area of town where I haven't explored up by the pole farm, I am going to find a complete flask. I'm sure I must be able to. Um, so that's going to be it. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you all later.